Today I'm going to show you how to create YouTube thumbnails on your phone. So thumbnails are probably the most important thing for your YouTube videos besides your actual video. So this is what people are going to use to decide if they want to watch your video or not. YouTube will put your thumbnail and title in search results on the homepage, suggested videos, things like that where people are going to decide after seeing your thumbnail, do they want to watch your video or not? So you need to clearly represent what your video is about in just one image and hopefully it creates some curiosity where people decide to watch your videos. I'd encourage you to spend twice as much time as you're currently doing working on your thumbnails. So what you're going to need to think about is how do you clearly represent what your video is about? Ideally, have a picture of yourself with some type of expressive look on your face, creating some curiosity so people want to click on your video and watch it. You don't need a fancy camera or expensive software. You can do it all for free on your phone, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So the very first step is getting the picture of you that you're going to use for your thumbnail. I don't actually end up using photos. I take a video of myself because I'm doing this alone, and I find it easier to do it that way as opposed to trying to take 50 pictures of myself and then finding the right image. So why don't we get started making a thumbnail? Now I'll show you how I get the image that I'll use for the thumbnail. So step one, something to set my phone up on, my trusty switch pod. Then I need my cell phone. Let's get the camera going in the wide angle. Start recording. And then let's put it like so. Okay, so now all I just need to do is make whatever face that I'm thinking about for the thumbnail. So. Something like that is probably good enough. So now why don't I start recording uh, my phone screen so you can follow along there. All right, so here's the video that I just recorded. So actually, I can actually pause it and be like, and then just slowly go through the part. Oh, that actually, how about that? Does that work for you guys? So I can just take a screenshot of that like so. Okay, so we have the image of me that we're going to use for the thumbnail. The next thing, if you've seen our thumbnails before, there's a blue background, not this gray wall. So we need to remove the background. Unfortunately, Canva doesn't let you do this in the free version. We use Canva Pro, so we could do that there. If you want to try Canva Pro, I'll put a link down below in the description where you can try it for free for 45 days and do everything without going to the website I'm going to show you. This is our affiliate link, so we could earn a small commission if you end up signing up for Canva, but at no extra cost to you. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do this for free. You can just go to your web browser and go to remove.bg. So it's going to look something like this. The next step would be to upload an image. And so you could take a photo or from your photo library, we have the screenshot that we want to use. You can see that I was playing around with this earlier. We're going to use this image right here. Go to choose. It's going to think for a second and uh, any second now, maybe wait for it. Here is a picture of me, no gray background. So I can download this. The screwy thing here, I was playing around with this earlier, so I can go to open in. And for some reason, it's not showing up to let me just add it to my images folder. So Kind of what I ended up doing is saving it to Google Drive. Then once it's in Google Drive, I can download it and then I'll show you the next step. So let's save it to my drive, save here, upload. There, I wish there was a quicker way to do this. And then so what I can do now is if I go into Google Drive and then the latest image would be this one and then let's send a copy to save an image. Okay. There, we have the image on my phone now. So the next step is to go into Canva. So everything I'm gonna show you in Canva now that we have the, the background remove, you can do with the free version of Canva on your phone or on your computer. So just type in the search, you could type in YouTube thumbnail. They have all these designs here. Some of them have way too much text for me, like this one down be below, dazzling desserts. No one can read the text up above. What we're gonna do is just start with a blank slate. So what we're gonna do here, um, we don't want that. So here's just a white screen. The next thing we wanna do for ours, we have our color palette saved and here is our blue. And then from there, if you click on the plus sign right here and then go to uploads, you can see some of the other pictures I was playing around with earlier. Upload media, photo library. Here's the image with no background, add. The one below with my headphones on is a little more fun, but we're gonna use this one today. And so what we want to do is just, obviously that's kind of small. So we can just stretch the corners, move it around a little bit. There. 
that's pretty good as far as for me. The other thing is if you click on the image um, here, you can go scroll around to adjust and then you can play around with the brightness, um, maybe just a touch brighter, let's say. And then the next thing would be um, maybe a touch more contrast, something that kind of pops out. You, you wanna be thinking about when you create thumbnails is people are gonna be also watching your YouTube video, seeing your thumbnails on their phone. So it's kind of good that if you create it on your computer, or you create it here, at least you're thinking about people seeing the thumbnail on your phone. And then you can see maybe, you know, do I wanna adjust the saturation? You, it's something to just kind of play around with over time. One of the things with the free version of remove.bg is it's not a super high quality image. Again, they're trying to get you to pay to get a high quality image of this, but I'm showing you a workaround of the best way to do this um, without costing you anything. So image of me is okay, maybe not a little less bright. Let's say that. And then from here, so that's done. And then what we wanna do is hit plus, and then let's add the text. Add a heading, and then let's say, maybe it's about get YouTube. And then we don't want this all on one line. Let's hit enter here, something like that. Let's move it along the side, something here. Maybe we want the text to be a little bit bigger. And then if we wanna change the font down below, so open sans extra bold, let's use say work sans. That looks good. And then the other thing is we probably wanna have the, the YouTube button to add a little bit of color and also to be very, very clear, hey, this is about YouTube. So I've already uploaded the YouTube button that I got from YouTube's website. I think it's like one of the first things that I've actually uploaded to Canva. So we can shrink that down by just dragging the corner. Um, so it's, it's, if you see the little dotted lines all over the place, so the solid line, hey, this is the middle of this actual image. This is actually the middle of the text box up above. And so you can go kind of aligning stuff uh, like so. If it's about like that, one of the other things, um, if you saw our, our get 100 subs for YouTube, we've put these little lines along the side, just kind of making it look like there's motion, this is happening quickly. So if you wanted to add, say, other types of elements, so you can go to elements here. And so if you want a race car, a circle, they have a version of the YouTube button. They have lines, all these other shapes and stickers that you can add. I just wanna add a couple lines. So you can see there's this dark black line. I want it to be a little bit thicker so I can drag this maybe like so. I don't want it to be black, I want it to be white. And then this is way too long. And then so what I wanna do now is zoom in and then I also need to make this level. So the, the other thing, so if I want to copy it, then I can hit make two copies like so. And so maybe the, the bottom one is a touch longer. The middle one is the shortest. And then maybe this one is a little bit longer as well. And so you can see, you know, some of the things with this is if you're doing this on your computer, it's a little bit easier to do stuff like this, kind of align stuff horizontally and things that I'm trying to you know, play around with right now. And then what you'll see is, you know, obviously you wanna have these lined up. So let's say we want the, the right side of them to all be aligned. So I can click on one and then wait till I see the, the pink line there. And I think this one might be a little bit off. So, and then zoom out again, so get YouTube subs. Oh, fashion, I, why didn't you tell me that I can't even spell fast? How did that happen? Fast, like that. That's what I was trying to do. Um, okay, so get YouTube subs fast. You see the little lines of like zoom, zoom, this is happening quickly, picture of me. And that's essentially what you need to do to create a thumbnail. So if you're all done with the design, you can click on the little download button right here, preparing your design, thinking for a little bit. And so you can see up above, it said save to your camera roll. So if you wanna learn how to properly upload your videos, which includes uploading a thumbnail image, check out the video right here. If you wanna see all the videos we have to help you grow on YouTube in 2021, check out the playlist below. Hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.